Hey everyone, today we will have a look at subscriptions in .NET and then we'll have a look at two variants to create them. And we also talk a bit about some other cases like uh, replayable subscription events and things like that. If you like our content, please hit the like and subscribe button. And with that, let's dive into it. So this is an empty project or nearly empty. It has a query type here, which is the famous get books example that I have in the hot chocolate templates. And I also created here a mutation and there is nothing great to it yet. So essentially we get some data in here, a title and also then we create a book object from it and return it. Actually in a real server, what would happen is that we have a data layer maybe here or a service, a business layer where we really store this book in and then return the created instance. So GraphQL subscriptions are about real-time data. So essentially events that happen on our system. So the first kind of subscriptions I want to talk about is driven by mutations. So whenever what something happens on our system, we run a race an event. And if somebody is subscribed to that event, he or she will get that data. In this case, we want to raise an event every time a book is published. So what we're going to do here is insert a new service that comes with hot chocolate and that is the iTopic event sender. And in order to mark this as a service, we need to add here an attribute called service. And now we can use that and actually think about after the moment we saved that book, we could now send an event and inform anybody who's subscribed to that event that there is a new book. So the first argument here into this method is the topic. That's why it's called topic event sender. So we are publishing an event for a certain topic. This is essentially the event name. We could also combine that with IDs, like depending on how our topic is structured, am I subscribing to all the books that are published or to certain things. In this case, we are subscribed to all the published events here. So we want also to have a broad topic for it. By the way, the topic can be anything. It could also be an object. It must have equivalence implemented. But apart from that, it could be any object. Next, we are publishing the message. And that's the actual payload that we want to send to our event bus. In this case, we are using the book. In a real world example, we don't want to send the whole entity, which could be big. It might much more prudent to send an ID or some other hint that we can use. And that's because it's really going then over the wire. We are just using here an in-memory subscription provider. But if you're sending that to Redis or Nuts, then you want to make sure that your event payload is actually small. Okay, and this guy needs to be awaited. And there's one more thing. We need a cancellation token so it can be aborted if the mutation is aborted. So we are putting cancellation token in here and then we are actually good to go. The one thing that is missing here is that this guy needs now to be a task and it needs to be an async method. Awesome, our mutation is now done. We can move on. And first we are going to program CS here and we are adding our in-memory subscription provider. So we say add in-memory subscriptions and then everything is actually set up so this would already work, but we need to specify our subscription. And for that, we need to introduce a new root type. So I'm creating a new file and we call that subscription. And this subscription file, we just put a standard class in. And this class we register actually in our program CS here as the subscription type of GraphQL. Next, we are going back to our subscription class. And then, then we will introduce here a subscribe resolver. So let's do that. So I added here the unpublished method and that is our event we want to subscribe to and we are going to mark that as a subscribe resolver here so this is a resolver but it's a special resolver a resolver you can subscribe to but there is more to a subscribe resolver a subscribe resolver receives an event message so we're going to add here the event message attribute and the payload, the message payload is actually a book. That is our message and it represents the published book. So we just forward that. Think about 
if it were just the ID, I mentioned a bit earlier, you would need to resolve that object here. So it's prudent to use data loaders in combination with subscription. So let's put that together. And then we are basically done. We have almost all the parts here assembled, but there's one more thing. We need to introduce the topic attribute here. And the topic here is actually the name of the mutation. So we're going to do mutation dot publish book and then this works. With this, we actually can now start our GraphQL server. Let's double check the program CS. Everything seems to be registered. Let's run it. .NET running this. Okay, my server is now up. So I'm opening it now. I have already prepared here a browser. There, this is banana cake pop. We open a new tab and we are connected. And we can see here that we have a query type. We also have mutation and subscriptions. Let's have a different view. Let's go in the column view here and you can see subscriptions. I can subscribe to that. And then I receive this book here. Let's do that. So this is our first tab. And in this tab, I will just write the subscription and then use the unpublished field to get the title of the published book. Let's reformat that and then run it. And it breaks. I know actually what this is. Let's quickly go back to our solution here. And what you can see is we have map GraphQL. Subscriptions are either be executed over GraphQL SSE server side events, or in our case, we want to use WebSockets. So we do app use WebSockets, and then we restart that quickly. Okay, this is running. Let's go back to our browser. Let's refresh this quickly, and then we run it. And you can see now it's subscribed to it. It's waiting for something to happen. And I already prepared here a second Banana Cake Pop version where we can then use our mutation. And when I click on that, then you can see subscriptions events are rolling in. So every time I do that, I get a new event here. And if I change that a bit, you can see it really changes. It's real time. Let's put that away and let's go back to the server. I said we are looking at two variants of subscriptions and there are actually more ways to do that. But we are looking at two that are of news. This one is fully event driven and I could use the topic also here with arguments. Let's say some argument would influence the topic here so I could have whatever a title to which I want to subscribe. Then I also could put the topic on here instead of on the method and then it's not anymore static but we are not doing that we want to have full control of our subscription now and that means we might also want to replay events the user missed while he or she was offline and for that we can introduce a stream so i'm adding a new method here which returns an i async enumerable and that will represent our event stream so i created this unpublished stream method here which now represents our event stream and now we can take that and tell our subscribe resolver that it shall use this stream to subscribe with the event stream so this is now done so this subscriber will now use this event stream and here we can now do it differently and yield back books awesome so this is yielding my first book back you can see it is as easy to write as a simple enumerable but we also can inject here services so in this instance we're going to take the standard itopic event receiver and we'll first yield this book back that we have in here. Think about it as the event that we have missed. So we are returning this event might come from the database. You could connect here to the database, return all the streams that a user has missed, and then actually subscribe to the real-time stream and start yielding back real-time events. For this, we are using the iTopic event receiver. This is a standard thing. You could use any other service here to do that. And then we're gonna, after we yielded this book back, maybe we do a little delay. So we wait five seconds and then we're gonna subscribe to our event receiver. So the first thing I did here was subscribe to our source stream. And you can see here it's string book. That's what we sent from our mutation. I have the topic here and it's very important. If we talk about real time events, always pass on the cancellation token. Otherwise it could happen that some operations run forever when the user already has unsubscribed. Okay, we're gonna use that in our for each async down here. And with that in, we can just yield now the books 
back and these are then the live streamed events awesome let's head over to our subscribe resolver you can see actually here nothing has changed is still the same although we now have full control over the stream let's restart that and let's go back to banana cake pop refresh it so let's run that we immediately get the first book you can see i already sent here the second book in but we are still waiting for it so and did you see the bug here because i subscribe and i'm sending in a couple of events now the five seconds are over now i have real-time events but all the ma all the other events were missed and that's because i actually did a mistake here in implementing this guy we have to subscribe to the real-time events immediately so now we have a pointer to the real-time events although we are not reading them at this point point. and now let's restart that so let's refresh that subscribe immediately send something wait there it is. So this works awesome. So I immediately subscribe to our event stream. So I already receive events, but I'm not reading them and yielding them to the user. I first go then and yield missed events. And then I start for eaching over our real-time stream and returning these events. There are other topics around subscriptions, like for instance, throttling, authentication all these other things so make sure to subscribe to don't miss the next episode help our project to grow by giving us a github star and please hit the like button for this video and with this i'm out